What's up, everyone? Um, right now, I'm giving away some uh, site audits for SEO. If you guys are interested, uh, come stop on by. Uh, we'll be hanging out here, kind of doing some just some SEO stuff as well. If you guys just want to hang out and uh, talk SEO with me, that's cool too. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna start sharing this. So let's just go ahead and go through the uh, actual video. Copy video URL. Oops, for some reason that didn't copy. And I'm gonna also put this uh, streaming dashboard to the side so I can see what's going on there. Cool. Let's make sure there's sound too. Hey, audits hey, audits for, SEO. for SEO. Yep. What's up, Kumail? Kumail, is that how you pronounce it? I hope it's how you pronounce it. All right, let's do some sharing. Is sharing is caring. Oh, we got six watchers already. That's pretty cool. Yeah, so something that's been a little disappointing lately is the uh, amount of dislikes I've been actually getting on my videos. Um, not all of them, but some of them have been getting a lot of dislikes. And there's this one person who subscribed to me who's literally disliking every single one of my videos. Oh, Robin O'Neill. I wonder who that is. <laughs> you want to site audit for real? I can do it right now. I don't mind. Bastards. <laughs> Argism, what's up? So also I wanted to tell you guys about the new ranking factors on Google. So apparently the keyword relevance has gone down a lot. So you can make YouTube videos and as long as they're like uh, just interesting at least um, and have good like uh, clickable thumbnails and uh, title tags, people are going to be uh, more likely to see your videos in the search results on Google at least I mean on uh, YouTube at least okay so Robin is the first person in line for the site audit which which site do you want me to uh, audit first and then I can do your other guys's oh gosh let's see let's put that in there sorry I'm showing this around right now too so I can kinda get some some people going on here Code Refusion, okay. Well, I already know one of the things. So, if you go to Recovery Fusion, which I've worked with this site before, you'll see that there's a local business that's ranking for number one for Santa Barbara Addiction Treatment, which is great, uh, after we did some SEO there. And then also, uh, she she's also re ranking number one for uh, Recovery Coaching. So, let's just go to the site. So, the first thing I can notice is that, oh, that's weird. Uh, let's see if it's taking the title tag and putting it as that in the organic result. KJ, I'll get to yours after this one. I just have to. Um, I mean, the first thing I already know is that this, this of course, needs to be uh, converted over to a WordPress theme. And I think that's something. Were you gonna do? Yeah, with with Jacob. Um, if not, I could probably still convert this over to like an Aveda theme, something that I'm using. Um, Aveda is really easy to use. Uh, and I don't think you have that much content. I think you have like, let's see, site, six results. That's not bad. Um, so you're saying hello. I'm, I'm, I'm doing the site audit right now. Um, so let's go back to the website. So yeah, since there's only six pages on this website, I would definitely switch it over to a WordPress um, theme. Uh, I'd like to see the bounce rates on this. I don't know if we still have analytics being tracked on here. Let's check it out. Yeah. So if you want me to convert it over, I can. Um, I'll actually I can make a video about me converting it over and actually help some people out. Um, okay. So uh, so yeah, that's the first thing that needs to happen, and then everything else inside that, like uh, maybe the content structure. It really depends on what you're trying to rank for. It seems like you're trying to rank for national-based keywords because the uh, local-based keywords you're already ranking for. So um, what we would want to do is for that blog page that we actually have separate, I think, over here, Oops. we would want to integrate that to the main part of the site, which I can do. Um, and then on all of the different uh, blog articles, we would want to uh, be targeting long, either long-tail national keywords or... Um, or keywords that aren't as competitive. So if we go to your keyword tool and we type in something like recovery coaching, this will show us the long tail variations of our uh, keywords for recovery coaching. 
Um, Argism said, Chase, I just started a site a week ago. I would like an audit on it, please. Wow, you guys, all of you guys want audits. Okay, hold on. Let me finish this one. Okay, so recovery coaching um, nationally or internationally has a 1,300 monthly search rate. Recovery coaching jobs has 480. Recovery coaching training has 480. So, I mean, what you have to do here really is kind of figure out what, what the main keywords are that you want to be rank, uh, ranking for, at least nationally. Um, and then see how difficult these would actually be to rank for. And you can tell based off of like how these people are already ranking, like if there's gonna be a really, uh, if this is gonna be really hard to rank for. Um, one of the things you can use is something like Moz's uh, keyword difficulty checker, uh, which looks like I always have to log in for this. We have a question from Modeep saying, if you sent a bunch of spammy links to a competitor in a local search, do you think, so uh, Penguin's new update or Google's new update called, uh, I forget, it's like the new Penguin update. Uh, you don't have to disavow your links anymore. Like Google automatically picks up whether or not it should be taking those into consideration. So using that tactic is not gonna work, Modeep. As much as you wanna do black hat, or you or your quote unquote friend want to do black hat SEO. Okay, I don't remember my password. Oh gosh. Either way, you can use the keyword difficulty checker. We're not even there yet anyways. Um, but one of the things also that uh, that you want to do is figure out like the LSI variations of these keywords. So like if we go, go to LSI graph and see what Google's semantically relating these to, like this. And you could copy this approach or we could copy this approach and go to like Pitchbox. And uh, we actually got this tool for, uh, for free guys. We got, um, I talked to the owner a pitch box and he uh, he's letting me use this tool as long as we're using it in our case studies how do I not know any of my passwords I don't understand how that's possible <laughs> anyways you can use pitch box and uh, and and find keywords based off what these people are already ranking for and get like uh, these people's emails and ask them for their suggestions on these keywords like uh, if you want um, if you want people to contribute to an article based off of what they're already talking about these things, you can have them contribute to your article. And that's what we did with our article. I'll show you right now. This is what we're working on. Uh, Chase Renner. Yeah, I'm still auditing sites, but I'm like, you're going to be like fourth in line isolated. Um, but I'm doing these pretty fast, so. Sorry, I'm trying to show you this as, as an example. So you'll see in this article, the skyscraper article we're, we're working on right now in the SEO 2017 complete guide. Um, I really need to condense that, <laughs> the, <laughs> the name of that guide, that is too long. Um, you'll see that I got all these different testimonials just by doing like automated outreach to these people. And these are real people who are gonna be linking back to the article now um, to you know help it rank higher for its keywords then also share it. So. Uh, this is a, an approach that works really well. If you guys want to check out this post, make sure you check it out here. Um, I'll leave it in the comments. Okay, so back to what we were talking about. So, um, so you can use LSI keyword variations like uh, free recovery coaching, training, and you could also do videos and see what the keyword uh, difficulty is on, or sorry, the different search rates on YouTube are also. If we go there, we can see what people are searching for on YouTube. So still 1,300 on YouTube which is pretty cool. And then if we type that in here too, we can see that uh, definitely people are looking that up, but we could also look at the other variations of what they're looking up too and see if there's any searches on YouTube as well for those. So um, yeah, first things first for this website, migrate it over to WordPress, get it set up with a blog because you're already ranking uh, locally and then you know get some basic SEO done. There is already basic SEO done through all these titles, but um, looks up for that about us. But, uh, but yeah, I mean, that's what I would go towards. I would go towards content marketing. If you can do any sort of visual marketing, maybe through like um, interviews, like through like what we're doing right here, like a, like a live event. You could even do Facebook Live. You could do whatever. And you could even restream from here to Facebook Live, which is, I don't know why I'm not restreaming to Facebook Live right now. I probably should. So I can do that cross promotion. I'll show you guys how to, how to restream uh, right now so that we can get more people uh, through cross promotion. So anyways, um, so yeah, that's what I would do. I will uh, definitely talk to you in the near future, Miss Robin. Um, when would those changes get done? So yeah, let's let's talk in a little bit. Um, okay, so number two, who was number two? We got uh, 
<laughs> um, who was that? It was KJ. We got earthsway.com. Let's check that out. And while we do that, let's get that restream going. By the way, if you guys haven't started putting peppermint in your coffee yet, you really got to try it out. It's amazing. Okay, so we're going to go to our... Actually, you know what? We won't do this because this is going to take a second. I don't want to keep you guys around waiting. Um, okay, so Earth's Way. This is kind of a cool site. Let's check out what platform it's on. Okay, so um, it's on WordPress. That's cool. That's good. Uh, okay, so we also just got another question in the meantime. Why, what's your goal, your channel? Why are you focusing more on the channel rather than client SEO? Um, that's a good question. I actually prefer teaching. So uh, I, even though I do have SEO clients and I have the ability to get more, I would rather teach you guys and um, I would much rather be doing some sort of uh, video course for people. So that's kind of why I'm doing this. Anyways, okay, so this is a lot of content. That's good. Let's check out what this is ranking for. We'll plug this site into something like SEMrush and we can see where it's getting its rankings. Okay, so no real rankings. What's the domain age on this? How long ago did you put this up, KJ? Um, and I wonder if this is being integrated with some sort of like uh, Spotify plugin. Because um, this does, even though it does look nice, I'm wondering what the actual, the, another, the other thing about this site is I'd like to see what the heat maps are, if you have some sort of heat map tracking implemented on this. Um, and then let's ch check out how many pages are on this site. So we'll go to site colon Boom. So we got 48 results. So 48 pages are being indexed. That's good. Now let's check out the links to this site. So we'll go to Open Site Explorer. Three years. Wow. So you should definitely be getting some rankings in that time. Did you just redo this site or has it been like this always? Because also, is there uh, duplicate content on this site? We can check that with CoffeeScape. Because there's no reason why this shouldn't be uh, ranking. I mean, there is reasons, but. Uh, let's check actually let's check the titles on this it's for your clients my first one ever so I want to do a good job okay cool let's check out the uh, make sure that there isn't duplicate content on the site or anywhere else really and then we'll also plug this into Bemis up to see how we're doing for uh, all the different uh, tags that we need to be looking at Let's go to our software. I forgot where I put the button. Where's the button? Um, oh, it's because the folder was being hit. Okay, put that up. Wait for that to launch. So, um, doesn't look like. Let's see. We just want to make sure that this content isn't like small amounts of content being found in other locations is fine, but like not a lot. Okay. Yeah. So that's fine. Right. Cause that's like something that's being mentioned normally on other products as well. It's not like something that's being copied. Um, Kamali, I'll check or Kumail, I'll check yours out in a second. I just have to do this one. Um, so yeah, I think it's just mainly that kind of stuff. Just like things that you have to write as disclaimers. Yeah. So this is fine. Okay. Just making sure there's no duplicate content. So for his, in terms of the uh, uh, quality score, or sorry, the um, links, um, it looks like this is a large site with few links. So we have, let's see how many links we have turtle, total to this turtle. <laughs> turtle to this whole domain. Um, let's see how many links we have total to this whole, this, uh, whole domain. You guys are just dropping those websites like wildfire. Okay, um, so we got one to 50 inbound links, one to 50, no, sorry, one out of 50. So we got 50 inbound links to this uh, page. Let's try the root domain. Okay, so we got, not all links, we just want um, only external links. So no internal links. We want to see the internal links also to see what uh, links are passing uh, link juice, but not at the moment. So 35 external links. 
uh, a lot of them from the same source. So yeah, that makes sense that you're not uh, ranking that high for certain keywords, um, mainly because of the links. But also, let's we also haven't checked out the uh, content and also the internal linking as well. So we'll check out the internal linking. Okay. Um, and then you'll see the links anchor text. This one's being linked to from an image, which is okay. Um, from the about, enjoy free sample. So this is okay. Um, so yeah, a lot of these links don't even really have anchor text either. So, okay. So now we know a little bit about the links. Um, so let's check out the, uh, let's check out the site layout for the content. Craig Anthony, this is Christmas for everyone who has a website. <laughs> uh, Merry Christmas, people. I should be wearing a Santa hat. That'd be funny. Okay, uh, so we have home, about, bio, fresh process, weight loss. So let's check out the title tags. We got Earth Way, delicious, supernatural, supernatural. <laughs> Sorry, this isn't a comedian thing right now. Delicious, super. What? Delicious, super. Uh, natural science and Amish tradition. Okay. Let's check out um, Earth's Way to see if they're even ranking for their uh, main keyword. Whoops, sorry, Earth's Way. Okay, so Earth's Way, they are ranking for that. So we know that that's good because, right, th but the problem is, is you don't re necessarily have to have your brand name in the very left of your title tag. You know, you should have your more important keywords on the left of your title tag. Uh, it'll help you be more likely to rank for the keywords that you're trying to rank for unless that's what you're trying to rank for. Um, I don't necessarily know your keywords, but we could check out your keyword cloud and guess. So let's go to uh, SEO Centro. Oh gosh. And the reason why I use SEO Centro these days is so that you guys can use a free SEO analyzer. Um, you don't have to use any of the paid ones. Nine, four, six, one, go. Oh gosh, I put a zero. Seven, four, nine, one, go. Okay. Sometimes takes a second to run. All right, so um, title tag is greater than 60. That's fine. Don't, if you're looking at this SEO checker, don't use this because uh, uh, 65 characters the new limit 75 I believe with the uh, Google just created a longer title tag variation which is like uh, has a longer pixel except the description length is way too long we, you want to definitely uh, lower that um, so your meta descriptions are definitely if they're t if they're like 250 characters um, you want to make sure that those aren't they aren't that long so let's go in there and see uh, what these character limits actually are on what these meta descriptions are actually. While that's running, we'll keep going. Uh, no keyword tag, that's good. This has a very large amount of heading tags, so 45 heading tags. You don't really wanna go above 30, and then this is really bad. So if we look at the H2 tag, uh, that's way too much content to have in H2 tags. So you definitely wanna take that out and put those into P tags, like for sure. Um, hey, thanks, Carlos. Uh, okay, so so yeah, definitely get that fixed. Also, there's no H1 tag. H1 tags are really helpful in terms of measuring uh, what your page is about, and they're you know big for Google. So definitely make sure that you're using your H1 tag uh, with hopefully some sort of LSI keyword or even your main keywords. Uh, okay, so for the images. Uh, the only thing I'm really noticing here, wait, let's look at one of these. This is an image, right? Yeah. So for these images, you might be able to do a little bit better on these URLs. So uh, you might want to do like Earth's ways, oh, sorry, Earth way uh, natural protein, if that's what you were going for. Because um, then Google's gonna better understand that that's what you're trying to rank for. Whoops. JPEG, or whatever the n uh, URL was. And then let's check out the alt tags. Let's make sure you're using correct alt tags. So if we go in here, uh, oh, we might not actually see the alt tag on this page. We might be able to see it on the home page though. Let's check out the home page. Whoops. <laughs> I just typed in home. Ah. Okay. Go back. Back. 
All right, let's check these out. Let's check out these alt tags. All right, so I'm not seeing an alt tag. So you really want to make sure that you're using alt tags on these images so Google can read what they're about. Here we go. There's a there's an alt tag. That's good. So maybe just the home page uh, or on the uh, main slider. So yeah, pure clean Amish dairy. I guess that's okay. I guess I guess you're trying to rank for Amish dairy. We still haven't looked at the keyword cloud. Let's look at the keyword cloud. So we'll go to keywords. This is the keyword cloud. So this is what's mentioned most. Earth's way. We knew that. Free samples today. Uh, you're not going to be ranking for that, but you know that might be helpful to have in there. Uh, plus shipping choose no sweet Swiss vanilla maybe something like that sweet okay so it looks like mainly what you're trying to rank for based off your keyword cloud is sweet Swiss vanilla whey protein let's see where you're at for that and of course this is without looking at any of the ranking tracking software that I've, I I'd hope you'd be using okay look at that so you're ranking for that see that earthsway.com and then there's your uh, actual page that you're ranking for sweet Swiss vanilla. So you can pretty much tell what people are ranking for just based off their keyword cloud if you can eyeball it. Um, so I don't know how many people actually look in that variation, <laughs> but if they did, they would find you, right? Um, the other thing is, is that with all these products, uh, you're gonna wanna take off this zero social proof because that's gonna really deter people um, from buying your products because they're gonna be like, wow, nobody's looking at this stuff, so I might, not, I, I might not wanna look at it either. If you can, see how you have these star ratings? I don't know if those are legit, but you could put product markup in these pages and then Google would probably start showing stars underneath your search result, uh, your organic results, and I'll show you what that looks like. Uh, let's try buy blue shirts. We'll probably have some aggregate rating here. So that's it. That's in the that's in the search engine marketing result or um, uh, search network uh, AdWords results. So that's not as that's a different method. But right here, organic. See, aggregate rating. So what that comes down to is something called schema markup. It's really easy to do. All you have to do is just go into schema uh, product markup generator, and then leave this code either as uh, microdata on your page or as JSON LD in your headers. Uh, but it's probably better to do microdata because. It's a little bit harder to do uh, separate header uh, implementation by on a uh, per page basis. So, uh, whoops, this isn't the generator. We want the generator. Here we go. But since you have WordPress also, you could probably just use a plugin. Um, but here's a link to this if you want to check it out. Okay, so um, I could keep going into this, uh, KJ, but it seems like um, really what needs to happen is like uh, there needs to be basic keyword research for this site and then figure out your site's architecture before you kind of continue because uh, because even though there is SEO on this there isn't a real it, from what I can see that it doesn't really look like a geared approach for how you're um, SEOing your keywords like uh, for instance this delicious super and then natural science and Amish tradition uh, if that doesn't like that should be an uh, your homepage should be more of an overview of like what your whole site's about and then all of your sites should be like a uh, uh, product should be SEO'd accordingly so um, I would say definitely start with some like uh, basic keyword research if you don't know how to do keyword research make sure you check out um, this guide where I show you how I do my keyword research uh, I'll show you I'll leave the link for that too if you haven't seen it um, but yeah uh, everything else is going to be more of the technical, but the best thing that you could do is start doing like the uh, uh, more heavily, uh, heavily keyword targeting through uh, like whatever site architecture you're going for. And you're like, uh, and and your site architecture should be like your home, which is an overview of all your main keywords, and then all of your uh, linking to all of your product pages or wherever you're trying to rank, um, and then having overviews of those products. So. Uh, Overall, though, the site's not bad, and there's a lot of content, which is amazing. It just needs to be a little bit um, more geared towards the uh, search engines. So I hope that was helpful for you. Uh, let me just get you that link. Boom. Okay. So who was next? We have... Um, sorry, I don't remember. I, I, I need to like put you guys on a notepad so I can remember. Let's see. We got... Uh, we got... I think... Craig, were you next? Or was it 
Kumail. Okay, well, you guys choose. I'll just audit whoever's next. Qualitypunch.com, let's do this. Alright, Kumail. Boom, 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 ba -dum, boom, ba -dum. All right, cool. This is a cool site. We got uh, Quality Punch Home. So every time I see this on a title tag, I'm always like, why are there no keywords in these title tags and why are you using the word home? Because nobody's going to be clicking the word home on Google. Uh, we have a comment. KJ said a lifesaver. I'm glad I could save your life. Um, kind of wish I went WordPress and not coding, changing as much. Yeah, that's the problem is like with... Uh, with with using WordPress is it's just so much easier to make these changes and there's so much you can do these days with like all the different updates that Google's coming out with and like you know doing needing to do all these different things that it's like dude if you just went with WordPress like you wouldn't have to worry about all this custom coding okay um, all right so uh, we got good amount of content let's check out the alts uh, digitizing product so we okay I think that's what you're trying to rank for there. Let's just look. I'm just going to start looking at the keyword cloud first. Unless you guys can like give me access to your analytics, webmaster tools, and uh, your ranking tracker. I'm going to have to figure this out on my own. Okay, Pietro. Oh, thanks, Aaron. Um, so Pietro Baroni has a question or a comment. So if a site has numerous pages on the website with the same 10 to 15 keywords, assuming keyword content ratio is fine, would that boost uh, its, his overall site's ranking for those keywords or just the individual page? Um, so you're, I think what you're saying is like if the site mentions multiple keywords at a time, like on different pages, is it going to help one page rank higher, right? Or even the website. Um, so that has to do more with interlinking. So like if you're, or even link building. So like if you're doing like a blog, um, and sorry to interrupt this, but I, I do want to answer this question. So like if you're doing like a blog like I was doing back in the day on Reliable Computer Help, um, I was creating consistent blogs around like mainly the same, like at least LSI variations of my keywords. And so um, I was actually able to rank for SEO Tips 2016 and it wasn't as much because I was uh, mentioning the keywords on my site a bunch as I was mentioning them in all the different linking I was doing and then the links I was getting in the social signal, well maybe not the social signals, um, but you'll see SEO in 2016, SEO 2016, that sort of thing. Um, and YouTube does the same sort of thing where if you uh, if you create a playlist around all of the different things that you're talking about, um, you actually have better chances of ranking a playlist in the uh, search results on YouTube um, because you're creating all these different variations and you're probably also linking to all the different videos. Uh, YouTube's, of course, a lot different. But um, as far as like trying to rank for multiple keywords on different pages, I would really just go for the, uh, if you're going to be trying to rank, don't try to rank for the same keyword because, um, because, uh, if you really wanted to rank for a keyword, like, like really well, you would want to go for that main keyword, maybe another keyword based off that keyword, or maybe some like LSI keyword based off that. Um, but you would want to do some sort of skyscraper approach and the way, like the best way to see like somebody who's doing this well is somebody like Backlinko and Backlinko. If you look at his strategies, you'll see that like every single one of his blog posts is targeting like one to two main keywords and then the rest Google's just picking up semantically. Uh, and then of course he's getting, you know, more people to these guides, more rankings based off of his links. So, um, so like for instance, the, the definitive guide to keyword research, of course he's ranking for keyword research and then other variations of keyword research. So, uh, uh, so the thing is with that is you don't want to actually, uh, uh, try to re you don't want to try to rank multiple pages for the same keyword because that's just going to look like duplicate content you're going to want to try to put all those keywords on one page in some sort of skyscraper article so i hope that was a good answer um it's kind of hard to explain fast okay uh so let's keep doing this uh, post so in here oh yeah we we're looking at the uh keyword cloud so we got title tag of course check out the keywords uh, so we got quality punch digitizing vector Plug that in. Let's also plug them into SEMrush to see if any of these are matching. Boop, 
Boop -a -doop. I'm Ren. SK wants to know how to use keywords for a post. Um, I would just start on part one of the complete guide that I made. <laughs> There's a lot you have to cover to cover that. And so this actually corresponds with the new desktop search uh, user interface update. So Google has updated the UI of its desktop search, bringing it closer to mobile UI. Huh. So I wonder if that look it looks like it actually that might have actually helped you because that looks like a strong correlation right there. Um, what's your email, Addy? Uh, my email is I'm at chasereiner.com. I am at chasereiner.com. You can just go to chasereiner.com too and uh, message me there. So uh, quality punch, that's good. You're ranking. You always want to see brands that are ranking for their actual name because that um, means that Google trusts them to a certain degree. Uh, punch.com. Uh, it looks like you're ranking for that. I don't, that's not very valuable. So free DST files. That's interesting. Let's check out uh, what page that's actually ranking for. I'm not seeing the uh, that other one, though, the digitizing vector. And that looks like a pretty uh, hard keyword to rank for. So it would be helpful if you could uh, uh, tell me what your main keywords are, or at least if you know what they are, so I could take a look into uh, what you're going for. Um, cause in some sites like this, it seems a little bit harder. So this is ranking for free DST files. I wonder what kind of traffic this is actually getting. Um, so yeah, I mean, it's kind of hard to see. Let's see, uh, let's check out the, uh, amount of pages indexed 46. So one of the things I'm noticing is these title tags, they just have to change, man. Like home, that needs to change. Uh, and also these all caps, Google discourages all caps in your, uh, like that's actually like a, a, a negative ranking signal. So take out the all caps in your titles. I don't think these dots are gonna hurt it, but uh, might even improve click throughs. But uh, as far as your actual content in your website, um, let's go back to quality punch. I like the domain name, that's for sure. Yeah, um, Craig, I did knew that, know that. And did you know that you can actually, so Craig just mentioned something about YouTube, uh, that Google actually looks for like the audio and the captions in your video. Um, and there's some things that you can actually do, like if you go into your videos, you can, uh, uh, trying to find my video. You can actually go and change like the first parts of your video to m more uh, to better match what you're actually trying to rank for. I don't know if it's worth the time, but it's something that you can do. Uh, and this approach really only works if you have like, well, actually, no, it works in every situation. So if we go to edit, and then uh, subtitles, and then English. And, and guys, I forgot, like I said this before, I should be restreaming this to you, uh, to Facebook also, but I should also be restreaming this to Twitch because Twitch just came out with a new uh, uh, sort of like YouTube, like uh, like what we're doing right now. So it's not just for gaming, which is pretty cool. So you can, you can start doing like SEO audits on Twitch, which you used to not be able to do before. I forget which section it is, but it is around there. So that's a new update that just came out. Um, so yeah, like in this parts of the video right here, you can actually go in and press edit. And uh, and so like if I'm not mentioning SEO right or something, uh, you'll actually see. So like I would go in here and then change where it would like make, maybe not mention the right words or whatever. Um, okay, so for quality punch, 46 pages, content's a little low, uh, especially if you're trying to rank for, I, I don't know what you're trying to rank for. I mean, this is, this is, this is a really hard audit because like all of these different uh, title tags aren't really mentioning um, what your keywords are. And if I go in here, I don't even know what these really are. It looks like some sort of print that you would be using like on a shirt. So uh, you would probably want to start figuring out what your keywords are around that as well. Um, so yeah, I mean, this is also one of those things where it's like, it goes back to keyword research. You, it's, it's kind of hard. There's kind of no, almost no point in, into going into like technical SEO, like uh, schema markup and that sort of thing when we don't even really know what the keywords are you should be ranking for. So 
I might actually have to do another video for like a keyword research uh, audit for you guys so you guys can start getting uh, keyword ideas. Um, so I might do that in my next live stream. Okay, um, did you know, okay, uh, Aaron said I'm ran do a search for SEO 2017 the complete guide part, part one but and you c will find it <laughs> those brand those those uh, user intent signals Aaron thank you uh, I'm working on a small video for you for you chase should I use, use twitch to do it uh, sure man I yeah I'd really appreciate uh, any videos that you guys can make I I, I love seeing your guys's videos this one guy that um, I started getting uh, feedback from Shane he started uh, making videos and he's like he's he's so awesome dude like if you guys haven't checked out Shane Cox, you should check him out. He's he's awesome. Um, okay, so next we got ebible.co.za. I just registered uh, the domain in order to create a niche site to make some AdSense income from it. I set up the site a week ago, or if that's not worth looking at, please check out spank.com. A little scared to check out spank.com. <laughs> uh, I can check it out, though, if you want. Um, the problem with AdSense is that I don't think they let you advertise on your site uh, until you have like I think uh, six months as long as you've been on the site for six months and you have to have like a certain amount of visitors so um, I would rather check out this site since it's been around for longer too awesome not to share so this is kind of a cool site um, just from looking at it I like the layout uh, and there's an alt tag on this which is good and the logo seems fine. I mean, the image URL seems fine. We got some social and uh, sharing encouragement, which is good. And looks like the uh, OG data you're sharing is good as well, which means that like the uh, things that Google's or Facebook's picking up as sharing data, looks like it's picking it up right. So like if I were to press this, put in one of your pages, it should auto embed, boom. So that's how you know. Um, the cool thing about news sites, if you're doing anything news related, if you get a certain plugin, I don't know if you're using WordPress, let's check it out. Uh, yeah, you are. Um, the thing about that is you can actually share these as videos. So that's what's like really important to do if you have like a news site. Um, the way you do that is you do something like with uh, Social Warfare or SSO. And you should definitely check this out. Um, I might take make a tutorial on how to actually set this up. So. Boom. Uh, yeah, you want a link to Shane's videos here. Let me uh, hold on. Uh, oh gosh, I think it's professional for life. Uh, I think yeah, this is it. Here, there's a link and there's a shout out, Shane. If you watch this, he's probably asleep right now. He works really late. Um, okay, so uh, cancel out of there, cancel out of there. Um, so I'm going to guess that this is newsworthy worthy content, and we're going to go into SEMrush, see what you're, what you're doing there. And we're also going to see what you're doing with Beam Us Up. I mean, one of the big things for news sites is that you have uh, structured data. Funny Sun headlines, interesting. Um, so that what that means is that like if you're going to be doing anything news related, you're definitely going to want to try to show up in Google's uh, resource limit. So you want to you want to make sure that you're uh, you're not getting server errors. That's big. Um, as I was saying, anything with like news related content like this, well I guess these aren't news related. Either way, you should still be doing article markup. Let's check out what the structured data looks like. God, I don't know what's been going on with the structured data testing tool, but it has been timing out nonstop lately. And I don't think it's just like the, uh, uh, just for, whoa. Okay, so these are all H entries, that's fine. But still, uh, and website markup, but you wanna have like breadcrumb markup, you wanna have author markup too. Um, I guess that's not necessary on the home page. Let's check out the actual article. Yeah, see, so just H entry, um, 
which is just like a tag for an item prop um, for Google to look at what your post is. So like the different URLs and things in it. But um, you want to be able to show like that this is an article. You want to show that there's a person writing the article. Uh, I mean, this is fine. Also, you could do video markup as well for your YouTube videos. And it looks like your AdSense short code isn't loading. So you want to look into that too. Um, so let's check out how many uh, pages are actually indexed on this site. How much time to get my site below 5,000 rank in India? Okay, I don't know what 5,000 rank is, but um, I, in, in any terms of how much time would it take to rank on Google, it's just that's so, it's so hard to say with anything. Uh, so I can't give you an exact answer there, sorry. Um, spank, too awesome to not share. To, uh, so these title tags seem like they could be a little bit longer. Also, it doesn't look, I don't know, are these articles uh, targeting more for clicks or for um, for shares? Because if you're trying to get most of your uh, shares through like social media, you can actually change your OG data with like social media warfare um, and have your shares be something like this, but your title tags be different from your for what you're trying to be indexed on search engines. So like adorable pet rat eating spaghetti. I don't know if people are gonna be looking for that. I mean, there might be a chance but you might be better off looking up for like uh, uh, funny rat videos or something. Do you know what I'm saying? So, um, I mean, really, what it comes down to with most of these things, and I, and now I'm just now I'm convinced. Now I have to create a video or a live stream for like uh, keyword audits. But like, really, what this stuff comes down to is a lot of people don't get traffic to their site because they're making their articles things that people aren't looking for. So, I mean, that's really important is that, like to figure out what these different pages are going to be. And that, the good, good thing is like in most cases, you guys already have the content. Um, but the problem is, is that a lot of this content isn't being SEO'd well for certain keywords. So, I mean, it's not a big deal to go in here and optimize these for keywords, though. Like, it, you know, you have and, and if you were to do some basic. Um, so, like one of the ways to do this is to kind of already see what you're showing up for, because there's no way you're not showing up for like some of your content. So what you do is you go into your search console like this. You just type in search console. And I'll show you like a page that I'm not really ranking well. I'll use like my new Trace Reiner site to show you as an example. Um, because it's so new, it's not, not getting that much traffic and I've just started publishing content on it. But this is how you can know. Let's go to Chase Reiner. So you'll see in the last 30 days, 47 clicks. So we'll go uh, clicks, impressions, click through rate, and position. And then we'll go by pages and we'll get, we'll find the second best page. We'll, we'll go for, actually we'll just do black hat SEO. So this is a page I made about black hat SEO, things you can do for black hat. Um, not that I do black hat SEO. I just wanted to show you guys. So what you'll see here is now that I'm filtering just by this page, and I can even go longer than 90 days, but I don't think I have that data. So we'll just go back to 28. Um, what you'll see is that my, my traff, my, the, the keywords on this page are starting to show up in different ways. So like you'll see, I got one impression in the 38, 33rd position for black hat SEO. I got one impression in the fifth position. So why I only got one impression there and you'll see it's jumping around once Google starts indexing your stuff is because Google's trying to see what people are interested in, what it can relate your uh, article to, especially if you don't uh, have a bunch of link signals. So this is really important to do early on. And there's also a more advanced method for this if you're going to be doing uh, SEO later on and you already have all these rankings um, to improve your stuff. But if you're, especially if you're going to be doing SEO early on, you want to see what Google's picking up your articles as. Because if you can see what it's picking up your articles as, so say for instance, uh, this adorable pet, ra eating, uh, pet rat eating spaghetti, if you look in your search console and you see this page, you filter and look at all the queries, there might be a bunch of different things that Google's showing you up for, but you're not SEOing for that at all. Well, if you see what it's actually showing you for, um, and there's like uh, high click throughs or even just one click or you know it's showing you up in certain positions you can start either adding those keywords to your article and trying to rank through like different variations on your article or you can start optimizing the whole post for those keywords and also use those keywords as different uh, heading tags um, on your uh, article and then do like breakdowns from those um, and you'll see like somebody who does something like this a lot is uh, Backlinko he's constantly relaunching his content um, because relaunching your content 
uh, is like super uh, a super overlooked SEO strategy these days that you can use to achieve higher rankings and completely reoptimize your posts for other keywords. And I was gonna make a video for this also for my reliable computer help because I have a bunch of outdated 2016 articles that I was gonna relaunch and try to get to rank for uh, keywords for like 2017. Um, so in terms of this, of course, more keyword research, uh, schema markup needs to happen. Um, I, I have a video for schema markup. If you if you haven't seen that yet, um, it's pretty easy to implement with a uh, WordPress plugin since you're running WordPress. And I'll, I'll get a link for that for you. Dun, da, da. Where is it? Where is it? Right. Oh, I think I missed it. It was right. Did I just click on that? Okay, there it is. All right, Craig Anthony asks, if you sell one pro type of product, let's say clocks, and you have 50 of them, it would make sense to have a home page and then 50 additional pages, one for each clock. How do you suggest implementing? The keyword clock over 50 pages without becoming spammy. So if it's the exact same clock, like red clock, blue clock, green clock, um, sounds like we're Dr. Seuss right now, you would want to do something like a canonical tag. So what you would do is, uh, is what a canonical tag is, is it's basically a, ta uh, a, a tag that shows Google that this is what um, all these different pages are about. They're like, this is the same thing, right? So uh, canonical, what is a canonical tag? Just trying to get you guys the exact definition. So another option for dealing with duplicate content is to utilize the rel equals canonical tag. The rel equals, and you can use this from the Yoast plugin. Um, the rel equals canonical tag passes the same amount of link juice ranking power as a 301 redirect and often takes much less development time to implement. The tag is part of the HTML web page. So that's what you would do. Now, if the clocks are different, if they're not like, if it's not just blue clock, red clock, maybe it's blue clock with a uh, modification flamethrower on it. Now, I don't know why you would need a flamethrower for your clocks, but if you did, and that was a search, you would want to SEO for that without using the canonical tag. Um, they are only the same in, sh uh, same in shape. Each one is very different. Yeah, so if each one's very different, then I probably wouldn't do a canonical. The canonical is more for if these are like the exact same. Let's see if we have images. If these are like the exact same products with the exact same text, except like it's just literally like a different color. So like if all the pages have the same headers, the same text, all of that, if you can make them different, um, then you're going to want to try to rank those. Like if they actually have different searches, you know, like clocks with flamethrowers. That's a joke. Okay. Um, the keyword clock over 50 pages. Oh, okay. Is the answer to use, okay. Yeah. Is the answer to use wall decor? Wall, yeah. That's pretty much how you would do it, Craig. Um, okay, so in terms of this website, uh, sorry for keep jumping back and forth, but in terms of this website, I like the layout. I like the way um, it works. I, I, I need to see more from the analytics, what the bounce rates are like, what the search intent is like, um, but definitely heading in the right direction. I think you just need to do some, uh, I keep saying this, I hate saying this for all you guys, but I think you need to do some basic keyword research. <laughs> I think that's the biggest thing for these sites is most people, they don't even get past step uh, one for their SEO, which is like keyword research. And they start trying to learn all this technical SEO and really they just need to spend more time doing keyword research. And it, just by doing that, you're gonna end up getting a tremendous amount uh, more uh, traffic. Uh, thank you very much, you're very welcome. How would implement Canonical without Yoast say on an e-commerce site? So because I haven't really done uh, too much SEO on anything other than like a WordPress CMS. Uh, I don't know if you can do like custom canonicals. I would have to figure out what CMS it is and then look up like, oh, can you use canonical on uh, Shopify? Okay, looks like uh, looks like there's some stuff there. So yeah, that's how I would do it. And also, WordPress has a Shopify plugin if you're going to be doing e-commerce. Um, okay, so we did some site audits. Is there anybody else who's interested in getting their site audited? Um, yeah. If not, um, I think what I will do is I'll start working on some of those other things we talked about. 
So I think one of them was, um, what was it? It was uh, repurposing content. So I think I'll do that today. Um, or not repurposing, relaunching. We already did re repurposing. And if any of you want to uh, come join the, um, I'm actually doing this white hat versus black hat SEO podcast. You guys haven't checked this out yet. You should. Um, and, uh, and if you guys want to discuss white hat uh, versus black hat SEO techniques with me, I will be, uh, I'll be um, doing these probably once a week. So um, make sure you let me know about that if you do. This is actually a really good uh, talk I had with Josh Brzezinski. Um, and we're actually ranking this uh, right now on uh, on YouTube for White Hat S S SEO for 2017, which is cool. The power of uh, repurposing your content, right? See that? Cool. Okay, so um, so yeah, so relaunching content, also uh, keyword research, live audit. I might actually do one of these for you guys um, either today or tomorrow. Uh, I don't want to bore you guys too much with too many live shows. Um, <laughs> ben just joined. We're about to head out, Ben, but I, I might be able to do something quick. What do you got? Um, Craig said mine is still a day or two away from completion. Uh, I, are you talking about your uh, WordPress site? Sorry, I keep missing your guys' context because I'm trying to uh, do all this stuff. Uh, I'm Rand. Guys, can you suggest me a full SEO course, best videos in YouTube? <laughs> Are you kidding? Check this out, man. Um, thanks, KJ. Yeah, live shows I love because it's like you just get those interactions. I, you know, I love uh, hearing from you guys and definitely uh something i enjoy doing but it's kind of hard to make these as like recorded things that you guys would probably actually want to watch based off of like you know you don't get a structured content because i'm just kind of talking to you guys and then like uh it's kind of, it looks kind of weird on the live playback on the on the playbacks oh nice so uh ben wanted to have a site audit but it looks like he left oh also i forgot to show you this uh uh kj or was it kj I don't remember who I was, or no, it was uh, Argism. Um, so there's duplicate content on these pages, duplicate title tags, title tags missing, title tags too long. Oh, you definitely want to fix these because these title tags are too long. Um, meta descriptions are way too long. Uh, meta descriptions missing. So you want to fix all these. H1's missing. You want to make sure there's H1's on all these tags, uh, pages. So if you could fix a lot of these uh, things too, it would definitely help. And uh, if you want to figure out how to look at all this stuff, just get uh, the app called Bemos up. Um, and I'll just leave the link here so you can see it. Um, oh, Ben doesn't actually have a website. He just wants to make a reservation. Yep, reservations are accepted. <laughs> uh, I will, I will I'll definitely check out your site once you launch it. Okay, so content relaunch. So uh, what I want to ask for you, from you guys is, is there anything that you want to hear from me specifically? Because I, of course, want to help you guys with whatever you're looking to learn as well. And there's a lot of things that I could do. One of the things I was thinking about is uh, the rank and rent strategy, which is how I was able to go and get like eight different people um, locations on Google in different areas and get them work in their areas. Kind of an interesting concept, but this isn't something that people really look up a lot. And because I'm a slave to the search engine, I usually don't make content unless people are looking it up. <laughs> um, which I, I do need to get away from that strategy, especially since YouTube's new updates, like showing so many suggested searches to people. Um, so I, I guess I'll just wait to hear back from you guys on the different things that you're looking for. Um, I'll keep doing these live shows uh, so I can interact with you guys and get your ideas and then help you guys with your sites. Um, and I'm probably what I'm going to start doing is just start doing like live SEO videos of me working on sites. 
Um, but the thing about that is, is I'm probably not gonna be answering questions. So I don't really wanna have like people going to those videos and then not interacting with them. Um, I'm Rand said, how to get more than one Google AdSense account? I don't know, I only have one Google AdSense account. I don't know why you would, well, I guess, yeah, why would you wanna have multiple? You could have it all linked to one account. Uh, Pietro Baroni said, what qualifications in marketing or at RIT you ha do you have? If you check out uh, chasereiner.com, you'll see all the different qualify, uh, qualifications I have. I left a link. Um, I would like to see schema implementation on a product site. Um, and you're welcome, Craig. Um, so for schema implementation, uh, like I said, I, I did a video uh, that I left as a link right here. But if you want me to do a live video, I can do it as well. But that's the video I did for schema. So. Oh, oh, for product. I think I covered product a little bit on there. Um, product's really easy to do. You literally just plug it into the schema generator or any sort of schema plugin. You can get it going. Or you can use schema app if you want to be really technical with your schema. Um, all right, guys. So without boring you any longer, I'm going to end it. And uh, I just want to say I really appreciate you all stopping by and, uh, and hanging out with me. Um, I will definitely see you guys soon in the next videos and uh, probably in that next uh, live keyword audit that I will be doing. So make sure you stick around and check that out. And also, if you can, um, go to your YouTube and go to one of the videos. In or this is how you can really stay updated. Um, and if you click the, uh, here I'll show you. If you go to my channel or any channel really. Um, and so we'll go to this one. Click, click, click. Um, next to the subscribe, if you press subscribe. Gosh, what the heck? Okay, well, apparently I can't press subscribe. There's a little bell right here. If you guys press that bell, you'll be able to actually get notifications because YouTube's making it harder to get notifications for new videos. But you don't have to do that if you're not interested. Either way, um, we'll see you guys uh, in the near future.